Have you ever wondered if math could reveal something about you? Maybe even your name? Sounds impossible, right? Well, today we're diving into a mind-bending math mystery, the idea that equations might just predict your name. Imagine solving a math problem that doesn't just calculate numbers, but you. What if equations could connect letters and numbers in ways that uncover hidden patterns? Get ready, this is where math meets mystery. Every letter in the alphabet can be represented by a number, R equals 1, B equals 2, C equals 3, and so on, up to Z equals 26. This is called the alphanumeric code. Let's try it with a real name, Dominic. D is 4, O is 15, M is 13, I is 9, N is 14, I is 9, and C is 3. Add them together, and you get 67. Now, let's compare with another name, David. D is 4, A is 1, V is 22, I is 9, and D is 4. That's a total of 40. Interesting, right? Both names start with D, both are short, but their totals are different. Could these numbers reveal something deeper about your name? Let's simplify this using a math trick called modular arithmetic. We add the digits until we get one final number, your name's core code. For Dominic, 6 plus 7 equals 13. Then, 1 plus 3 equals 4. For David, 4 plus 0 equals 4. Wow, both names reduce to 4. Different letters, same final number. Maybe your name has a twin code too. Of course, math doesn't actually predict your name, but it represents it, in numbers, in data, and in patterns. The same math that encrypts your passwords online can also encode your name. So in a way, math already knows your name, just not the way you think. Now it's your turn. Convert your name into numbers, add them up, and reduce to one digit. Then, drop your name number in the comments. Let's see who shares your math code. So, can math problems predict your name? Not really, but they reveal the hidden language behind every pattern. Because math isn't just about solving, it's about discovering you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Prof. Brainbox, math, physics, and chemistry magic.